That was good. That was so good. I I don't know how many que- I don't have very many questions because you guys covered it so well. I mean, I would just say that I, you know, my takeaway would be that it seems like boundaries are really kind of another form too of like self discovery and realizing what's important to you and what's not, and you know, hills you're worthy, you know, willing to die on and stuff like that, and uh, just kind of getting to know thyself better to be a better partner in the relationship. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Sarah, what about you? Yeah, I have I have a few questions. Um, the first one I was thinking of is when you were doing the role play with the holes in the wall, I was thinking to myself, well, gosh, actually what Boone is saying sounds pretty convincing. So is there ever a time when like you set a boundary or you say this is not OK, but then they offer a solution that you're like, oh, maybe that's OK. Is that like is that a sign of weakness that you're willing to shift or is that is there a time that that's appropriate or you know what I mean? So if he says that and then you're thinking, well, actually, I just didn't want to do it, but he says he'll do it. So it's OK. Totally. That. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I think maybe the only the word of advice there, because that flexibility is so important. Try to live with someone that like once they set a boundary, they will not negotiate. That sucks. <laughs> um, I think I think a key there, especially when you're speaking for a unit, you're speaking for you and your spouse would be. Um, you know, if, if I'm the parent, I've got to check that I'm not feeling inclined to move the boundary to appease, but that, that actually felt like a suitable solution. And so one of the ways I might be sure of that is to take the pressure off by saying, you know what? I think that is, those are valid options. I'm going to bring them back to your dad and I'm going to think about it. And then I'll, can I get back to you? Right. And just, you don't need to decide in the moment. In fact, making decisions about boundaries under, um, tense conditions is probably not something you ever want to do if possible. So, um, but I think that willingness to be flexible is what makes it easier to live with people with strong boundaries. So like, really important. Great question. And, um, I am now a little bit too late to my next session. So maybe Boone can. Oh, okay. Start. Yes. Yeah. 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 I can, I can answer a few more questions. Thanks, Caprina. Bye guys. Yeah. Thanks. Caprina. <laughs> Let me just switch rooms here. Yeah. Too bad. Oh, that's a big room. <laughs> no, <I'm fine. laughs> Ooh, let's do it on the trampoline. Let's do the interview on the trampoline. <laughs> oh, I, I'd love to. It is actually pretty nice outside today. Yeah, the past couple of days, the weather has been perfect. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Um, and I guess just uh, to finish up that question. Yeah. If the principle is I'm doing this to protect myself and the offered solution helps me stay healthy. Right. And, and addresses my needs, then of course, um, I guess the, the only downside to that is, but do I want to convey that it's okay to negotiate? Right. And do I want to encourage negotiation? And um, it depends on where you're at. Um, like there, there are some situations where I don't want my six-year-old little boy to negotiate with me anymore, even if his solutions technically like are possible, um, then to, to protect my stress levels, I'm going to say no, and I'm not going to talk about it anymore. Um, but then like with your, with your adult child and like things are kind of open to negotiation, then you let them know, yeah, it's an option to negotiate. I'm, I'll listen to you about your ideas because there's a possibility that there's something here that could work for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, great. Sarah, other, any other, anything else? Just one more. If you have just another minute, I just have one more. It seems to me, for me, one of the hardest things is if I see something that's hard for me and then I set a boundary, it's hard for me to follow through with what I said I was going to do. And so sometimes I will like second get, well, maybe I actually don't feel that way. So I'll like soften up because it's hard for me to follow through. So what do you like? How would you help someone that is in, I mean, obviously it's different depending on different levels, but what, what do you, what advice do you have for that? Yeah. Um, so that's actually, that's actually a huge question. I think a giant half that we couldn't even get to in the conversation today is the actual follow through of boundaries. Um, because a lot of time there's always, if you're having trouble holding boundaries, there's always a reason, 
right? And a reason, and a reason that makes sense. Sometimes it's because you don't, you feel differently, right? This thing that's happening actually isn't bothering you so much anymore. And so, so it feels okay. And so you don't have, you might not have that boundary today. Sometimes you are feeling so incredibly stressed that you are moving the boundary forward. Like I have less tolerance for this behavior today, right? I'm not going to give you two warnings. I'm going to give you zero warnings today because, because I am, I am, I have had it with today. Um, Sometimes you set a boundary and you don't, you don't follow through because the consequence actually feels devastating. Um, like that scenario, scenario of like, like, Hey, can we have sex? No, I'm sorry. I'm not feeling up to it. I've had a really hard day. And the initiator throws a tantrum like, Oh, it's cause you don't love me. Like you don't even care. Like what's wrong with you? Like we haven't, we haven't had sex in months now. Um, like you might, not hold the boundary because you're going to get punished for it and you're going to get punished hard. Um, and that's a great, great scenario to seek some professional help. Um, or you're not going to hold the boundary because you know, a 40 minute tantrum from your toddler is about to come and you just don't have the bandwidth to handle that today. So you give them the cookie. <laughs> um, and that makes sense. Some days you pay with a credit card, right? And you give them the cookie. Some days you have the bandwidth and you're like, all right, I'm going to let your emotions play through and you're going to learn that you can survive today without that cookie. Um, so yes, like there's, there's a whole, there's a big old conversation about the actual implementation of boundaries. Yeah. Wow. Thank Good. you. Uh, you great performance, by the way, Boone. Oh, thank yeah. you so much. I, I have a little bit of acting in my background. Yeah. yeah right. I can so relate to that <laughs> situation and scenario. Yeah. That's great. Oh, well, Boone, thank you so much. Uh, be sure to yeah, let Caprina know how grateful we are. Thanks for taking time to be with us today. Thanks for joining us today. Hey, do us a favor and take a second to subscribe to our podcast and the Utah Marriage Commission YouTube channel at Utah Marriage Commission, where you can watch this and every episode of the show. Be sure to smash the like button, leave a comment, and share this episode with a friend. You can also follow and interact with us on Instagram at Stronger Marriage Life and Facebook at Stronger Marriage. So be sure to share with us which topics you loved or which guests we should have on the show next. If you want even more resources to improve your marriage or relationship connection, visit StrongerMarriage.org where you'll find free workshops, e-courses, in-depth webinars, relationship surveys, and more. Each episode of Stronger Marriage Connection is hosted and sponsored by the Utah Marriage Commission at Utah State University. And finally, a big thanks to our producer, Rex Polanis, and the team at Utah State University, and you, our audience, you make this show possible. The opinions, findings, conclusions, and recommendations expressed in this podcast do not necessarily reflect the views of the Utah Marriage Commission.